Okay, today I'm going to grab a door from the Quixel bridge and I'm going to separate it from the frame so it can be opened and I'm going to make it a little bit thicker. If that's something that you would like to do, let's get right into it. First off, we need to make sure that our Quixel bridge plugin is enabled. Make sure that's enabled and then you can go to our Quixel bridge. Also, you, you want to make sure that you grab all your assets from the Quixel bridge. It is migrating over to the Fab Marketplace. So go ahead and check out this video. I'll put the link in the description. That way you can grab all the assets from the Quixel Bridge. All right, and then under Plugins, we want to also make sure that our modeling mode is enabled. So go ahead and search for modeling and make sure modeling tools editor mode is enabled. All right, so these we'll go to modeling mode. These meshes, uh, the way the UVs are set up, they need to be tweaked a little bit. We need to fix the seams so that we can separate the door from the frame a little bit easier. So as you can see here on the UV Island, some of the door frame is connected to the door. So we just want to, we want to fix that. Okay, so to do that, we can go to the UVs on the left side. Before you actually separate the door, you probably want to create a duplicate of the mesh first. That way, if you make a mistake, you will have the base mesh to work from still. And we can check Edit UV Seams. And then we can see how these lines are set up. We just want to drag these lines so that there's a seam in between the door and the frame. So we'll do that on the right side. And when we, there we go and then we will do it on the left side. And then once it's done, we can hit accept. And now it's separate. And so now we go back to the triangle select under mesh and we can select by selection mode by UV island and we can just go ahead and select these UVs just by island. Um, let's go ahead and reselect it. You see I missed some of that in the middle. So we go ahead and go back over that and we select the top UV islands and it looks like this very top corner that seam didn't hit well so what we can do is rather than just go into we can either fix the seam or we can go to selection mode uh, angle filtered and that will that will select that last little area there and once we're done with that we can click on separate and then accept and then we want to edit the pivot location. So we go to X form and select edit pivot. And then we want to click bottom and then move it over to the right so that it opens like that. Okay. And now if we want to make the door a bit thicker in modeling mode, we can go to model and polygroup edit. And then we can select the door, make sure it's selected and we can choose extrude and that will extrude it and then we'll, when it's as thick as you like you hit accept and then it pulled off some of this bottoming here so I want to go ahead and remove that bottom so I'm going to go ahead and do that on the triangle select I'm just going to go select this bottom and remove it hopefully you didn't have this issue but if you do this is how you can kind of clean up your mesh Hit delete. Some is still left over. The unextruded part, I guess. Let's go ahead and delete that. Okay, so now let's fix the sides of the door so that they don't look like a I don't know, abstract painting or something like that. Go down to UV and then select UV editor. We want to make sure enable fly cameras enabled so we can kind of look at our door. And then we want to click on display and go down to background and click display background to be true and then select texture. And we want to find this door texture that we're working with. I just happen to know which one it looks like, so it's the old wooden door. So this is so we can see our UVs as we move them you know it will give us instant feedback and we'll show so to get this transforms so they can see the rotating and the transform all you gotta do is hit like W or E whatever you're using and it will populate the transform 
uh, gizmo. So if that's not showing up, just click on a piece of the door and then hit W and then and it should should be become visible for you. And now we just want to move this to a location on the door that looks, you know, passable. You know, because we're just going to be opening. It shouldn't, it, the detail shouldn't be too important when we're opening this door. You know, people aren't going to be hanging on it, but um, we want to get pretty close to looking like a natural door. And we want to make sure we're rotating things in the same direction. That way, you know, the, that the wood grain is going the same direction. And, you know, I put the piece that was on top of it, I put that above the the, the lower part, you know, so that it feeds into the, that, so that the top feeds into the bottom. And I'll, I'll show you again here when I do that. So this is the bottom section of the other side of the door. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move it basically to where the other side's bottom is so that they, they align. And then when I click on the top, I just want to make sure that the, the top is going above that, you know, so that it feeds into the bottom. All right. And then move that over. And if we zoom in, you can see that I rotated that the wrong way because the, the grain is on the other side, that little chip or whatever. So if we just rotate that the other direction, we can line it up. All right, just like that. Okay. So that's that. Now, if you don't want to mess with UVs, really, and you can see if you go into the static mesh, that's all saved. You can bring it out to the map and it'll be good. But if you don't want to mess with UVs like that, what you could do is you could edit the paint. You could edit materials under attributes. And under active material, we can add a second material. And we can make sure that the new material we just added is set to active. And then we can put in another material, like a, like a standard wood, like from the starter content or something like that. And then we can select that that section and we can make sure that our active material is wood and then we can select assign active material. And that's another way you could go about doing that. Um, you can choose another wood that's closer to the color. And then you can see that how it's the, the, the grain is going the wrong way. So you could go back into the UV editor and just rotate that 90 degrees and make sure that snapping is clicked on like click on the door the section you want to rotate then it'll rot and then rotate it in the UV graph 90 degrees sorry I haven't worked much in this either uh, but it is important to start working in this UV editor because it's extremely powerful as you can see like if you can learn how to do this it's just gonna be so helpful to you so just play in this don't be afraid, you know, duplicate your mesh and just go wild and, and figure out how to work in this. Because, you know, if you can do all this in Unreal, you don't have to go into Blender. It's, you know, it's very convenient. And over time, this will become even more powerful. So down the road, when they have totally souped up their UV editor, you'll know you'll have a foundation of knowledge of how to start utilizing it even more. All right. So there we go. I hope you learned something. Uh, thanks for stopping by.